Congratulations. Thank you. Thank tonight. you so much. Thank how, you. How does it feel to have like the best moment of the night getting Harry to get up there and oh, dance? Oh man, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what, I, when, when they started singing the song, he's not really going to start singing this, is it? And then he did. And but did you see kind of panic in his face a little bit? He, he was, like, he, because I think like he thought that Ryan was just going to shut it down. And then Ryan was like, no, we're doing this. We're doing this, and so yeah, he was a little panicky. So I, lo I loved it. I thought it was great. I was like, "Come on, let's do this!" And obviously, you killed it tonight. How are you yeah. feeling about your performance? I felt good. I mean, uh, last week I was a little down on myself. I didn't feel like I gave it. I wasn't comfortable with it, and forgot some words. It just wasn't me. And uh, I kind of sat this weekend and was like, "All right, what's what's the issue right now?" And and I kind of came to the realization that for me, treating this like a competition, it's just not working for me because music has never been about a competition so I kind of just was like it's time to just treat every moment like it's just a little performance that you get to do on TV and I think it helped me a lot this week and felt comfortable had a great time and I'm, I'm happy what kind of artist do you want to be you kind of said last week wasn't your week this week right. do you feel more comfortable I, mean, I think you saw what I did today that's along the lines of what I would you know what I want to do you know um, there was a little bit of a, you know, you could, it was almost like the, we compared it to like the Goo Goo Dolls or the Fray meets like slight Keith Urban, uh, Sam Hunt type country. So kind of in the middle of that. And, um, you know, it just felt good today. It felt natural. And I was, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you exhausted? Are you emotionally drained? Like what's going through? I'm not exhausted or emotionally drained. Like I said, I was a little frustrated with myself because I felt like I hadn't I wasn't being me. I just, and it wasn't like I was trying not to be. It just hadn't, I hadn't gotten there yet, and I didn't know why because I'm used to playing my own music at home, my own original songs. So I was having trouble putting my own, putting myself into these songs. And I think I finally was like, you need to be more connected to the songs, make them your own, and you know that. I think that showed today, and I think that's why it was a better performance for me. Why Katy Perry? What, what, what went through your head with that choice? <laughs> There was a lot of like songs that like people would pro would have probably expected me to do, and then I, I used to play that song at like bars and stuff as like, and people would yeah. Well, I would I would do a lot of songs like I'll change rap songs into like acoustic songs or whatever. A lot of like girl song girl pop songs, and I used to do that one, and always used to go over well at bars and stuff. So I was like, why don't you just go back to doing what you normally do, and 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 just have the band kind of you know. I, I I came up with an arrangement in my head about what I wanted the band to do, and. They were amazing. Me and my vocal coach and our and we kind of came up with that arrangement, and it was a lot of fun, and awesome. so it was cool. Well, um, congratulations, you did awesome. Thank you so, so much. I have a random question for you. Let's do it. If Let's do it. if you could pick any song to play every time you walked into a room, what song would it be? Oh, any gosh. song. All right. Well, then I have to like impress people. Like it's like the bit. I'm so mad because it won't clear on American Idol. I want to play. I do this version of No Diggity by. Uh, Black Street, and I kill it. I've, I've tried to get it cleared every week, and they will not clear it on the show. So I guess the one of the writers won't clear off. But I, I always do that. My band plays. I do an acoustic version of it. Everything. So one time. Come on. Maybe, the, maybe if I ever make it real far, they'll say, "All right, you can do it." But that that would be my song. If you could have 100 of anything, what would it be? 100. $100 bills. No, I don't know. <laughs> 100, uh, oh, bags of Sour Patch Kids. Yes, I love Sour Patch Kids. It I makes eat them your all. tongue feel weird. Yes, yeah, so you got to split them up. One bag a day. You don't overdo it. I overdo it, and then you can't, I can't taste anything for a week, but I love Sour Patch Kids. So. If we see you performing and your tongue's a certain color, You're I'm going like, to be like, he's went, been into the Sour Patch Kids. You went overboard um, on the Sour Patch Kids. Well, congratulations again, so and much. I'll see you next week. Absolutely. Thank Have you. It's great seeing you. You too.